Hey guys, Bryce Tubbs here. So basically what we're trying to do is I have a new camera and a new whiteboard setup kind of going on. So it's, it's very hard for me to kind of get it right the first time, but we're gonna figure it out together and I'm excited for this journey now. Hey guys, Bryce Tubbs here with my handy dandy whiteboard. We're gonna try and see if we can get this thing to work and get it to focus correctly. Um, today we're gonna be talking about is how to obtain bookkeeping clients. Now the reason why this is so important is because it's a very, very, very misunderstood topic inside of the accounting and bookkeeping space. Now before we even go into that, if you want some help growing your accounting business or your bookkeeping business, but you either just don't know what you don't know, or you feel like you're spinning your wheels and it's just not quite going at the rate or growing at the scale with which you want, I just invite you to go ahead and click on the link inside the description below to book a call with me to see if I can help you. Um, on the call, we're just gonna take a look at where are you right now, what stopped you, where you're trying to go. If I think I can help you out, I'm just gonna outline what the process looks like. If that's you, I will see you on the call. If you're not quite ready, that's okay too. Let's jump into this video. So how to obtain clients. So number one, this is actually the place where most people struggle is the thought process, right? Money is not really made the way most people think it is. Money is made in your mind. What I mean by that is, guys, you have to be thinking about what are the leading indicators that show that you are being successful. Okay, leading indicators. A leading indicator is what do you have to do that generates the result? For example, if you make money by doing, you know, accounting work, how you sell that is by doing more consultations right but then the thing that leads to more consultations this is actually the money is a result of doing the consultations but if you take that even step further back the consultation is a result of asking more people to get on a consultation call with you okay so the result of asking people to get on a consultation call with you is that you get more people who do a consultation call and then as a result you get more money right okay so cool so now if we go even a step further back how many people are you connecting with each day that are potential clients who you can invite to a call. If that number, right, of connections and contacts lead to contracts, which lead to cash in hand, okay? The reason why is because a contact is only as good as the relationship you build with it, right? Contacts are going to lead to invites, which lead to offers, which lead to money or dinero as some people like to say right contacts invites offers money this is what you really have to do right people just have this disconnect they think it's like this and i think it's this but it's really here right within your existing funnel within the existing people you already know there's gonna be a really big pool about 50 80 percent 50 to 80 percent of your money is made here from these different things okay this should be about fifth uh between 20 to 50 percent oh. 20 to 50 percent is from here getting more contacts now for me i personally and whenever i work with a student inside of my program we automate this You automate so, so that we can focus here. That's, that's the place everyone just struggles with, right? Everyone's either thinking contacts or money, contacts or money. But you really need to be taking a look. Whenever someone like is inside our mentorship program and we know that we want to speed up their growth, we are spending all of our time here all of our time here right oftentimes what happens is if you actually look at somebody's business if you can actually increase the number of offers and the number of invites to a call you can actually control how much money you're making okay so let me give you an example so melissa right she was um just getting started in the mentorship program and we did an activity where i said okay cool so how many how many um how many contacts do you have number of contacts okay she actually had a lot of contacts. Like she had like four, 4,000 people who knew she existed. She had a lot of personal contacts. 
That's a little bit different though than business contacts. Biz contacts equals about like 150. 150 people knew about our business, right? So kind of low. Low. Cool. Now, out of these 150, how many people, number of people invited to a call? She said maybe five. We'll say about five. <laughs> okay. Cool. So then, how many offers have you actually made to those five people? Well, I only made three. Okay. How many clients do you have? One client. Cool. So now do you want to see the math equation that allowed her to be able to get to six thousand dollars per month? This is when she was making one fifty per month. Okay, cool. Let me actually move all these numbers over so I have just a little bit more room to grow. Okay, this is when she's making 150 per month. Four thousand one fifty. Um, we said like five, three, one. All right, cool. That's about 150 dollars per month. This is what most people look like. You know, most people's business actually looks just like this. Just making sure you can see that. Yeah, that's at $150 per month. I think it might be a little high, whatever, you know. Hopefully you can understand the numbers. Next thing. So how did she get to about $5,000 per month? Okay. So now let's think about this. This looks like it's a 33% close rate. Cool, what is that? 3 out of 5, it's uh, 20, 40, 60%. Cool, five divided by, that's probably 3%. Cool, and this, this number's kind of irrelevant because it's just, just friends and family, right? From her church and she used to do like multi-level marketing, right? Okay, cool. So, in order to be able to grow this number, we actually have to just grow this number. This number's first priority. This number second priority. Okay, so cool. So first thing you have to do is go invite, out of those 150 people, go invite 100 people to a call. Okay, about 100 people. Let me I'll write down that math, right? 60% of 100, okay, so now you have 60 people that you do this to, right? Her percentage actually dropped a little bit. I think she had about, um, she had about 100 people to the call. Not all of them actually signed up. I think she had about 25 sales call, right? 25 times about 33%. Now for her, she does charge a little bit higher ticket than what a lot of people would charge. Uh, so about 25. This is actually now she got to five. That's actually how she got to about, I think right now she's doing about anywhere between 75 to about 9,000. We'll just cut the difference and say about eight, right? So about 25 times about a 33% close rate. Um, I think she had about a 33 to like 40% close rate right here. About eight to nine clients, right? About eight to nine clients kind of came out of the bottom pipe. But again, how did we do that? Okay, cool. Remember, the key number here is making sure that you got the invites to the call. Right? Literally, she already had the business contacts in her pocket. She just didn't really know the messenger script. Okay, why is this so key is, and why was she able to do that? Um, you do have to have like a messenger script and know what to say there, right? Because there was a reason why the 150 people didn't actually want to hop on with the call in the first place, because she just didn't really know what to say. She didn't really know exactly like what you needed to um, actually say to get them interested in working with you, but not just interested in working with you, but interested so that they actually want to buy and pay you money, right? That is the major key that a lot of people don't really understand. So, 
what we had to do is we had to give her the message script, right? So then she knew exactly what to say. She had about 100 people who were interested in actually, you know, talking to her on the phone. Out of those 100 people, she was able to schedule 25 calls. Out of those 25 calls, she closed between about 33 to about 40%, got about eight to nine additional clients, right? So basically what we had to do is we just had to increase certain numbers and we pulled certain levers and it made it a lot easier for her to be able to grow her business. And that's really how you start obtaining clients and that's how you start getting more and more money. That's how you start getting to that $8,000 per month within 60 days, right? Within 60 days. It doesn't have to take a lot, right? It's just knowing your numbers, knowing your math. And then after a while, now what we're doing now is now we're building this number up, right? So now her number is probably about um, about 750. But since she has about eight to nine clients, she's right around $8,000 per month, a little bit higher, give or take. I haven't checked in with her in, in a couple of days, right? But give or take, now she's 750 people to go and redo this exact same process with, and that's gonna be more, right? What we generally do inside of our program is I show you how to start storing, storing more and more attention. So let's say the last time, right? So she had, let me erase this board. Cool. So now I'm gonna show you a cool number too, right? 8K and 60. How do we get to 12K in 90? All right, cool. So she had about 500, right? And she had about, uh, sorry, she had about 150 people. Contacts, 150, right? This this is unchanged, right? Um, I think it said 25, and then eight to nine clients. 25 invites. This is actually how she, she's probably into about 12. She could get to about 15. I don't want to put a limit on that. 12 to 15K per month. Clients. Cool. So let's say, for example, now she has about between 500 to 750, right? Now, invites to the call is going to be remaining pretty much the same at this stage, right? Because now she has really good flow of leads, so about 25, 50, about 16%, right? So let's say we're going to cut it off in the middle, say she has 600 times 0.16, right? It's going to be about 96 invites to a call, right? Or 96 uh, offers. <laughs> Sorry, my numbers are getting a little bit off since I erased it. Invites, offers, cool, cool. Eight to nine clients. It's so not the same thing. Gonna have about 600. Mm -hmm. 150, or 100, divided by 150. About 66%. Okay, cool. That's better. She's probably gonna invite about 400 people to hop on a call with her, okay? Next thing from that, about 25%, 400 times 0.25. It's about 100 calls. All right, cool. So now out of these 100 calls, and again, guys, this is spread over the, the span of like 90 days, so it's not like you're taking 100 calls like immediately. It's not like that. It's just, she's trying to get more like 20, 25, $30,000 per month, so we have to make sure that she feels really, really good. Cool, give me one sec. I set up, have a printer. <laughs> oh, cool. Student just actually reached out and said, CPA I met with has three clients for me and potential for more if he likes my work. He literally didn't care about the price, just that his clients were serviced. Oh, cool. Instantaneous, guys. This is kind of the results that you get whenever you join the program. So she just said that. Really easy stuff, okay? Eight to nine clients, so we're gonna say, what is that? 30%, 40%, 100 times 40. That's gonna be a little bit high. This number's gonna probably drop down. But this is just an example. So she's probably gonna get to that number. She'll probably be at about 15 to 20. And she'll probably cut this number short. Cut short. When she hits capacity. Cool. Because really what she's going to do is she's going to hit about 15 to 20 clients, anywhere from between 1000 to about $5,000 per month, 
Right now she has a client for like a thousand. She has one for thirty two hundred per month. She has one for a thousand. One for about eight fifty per month. She has a nine fifty per month client. Um, I believe she signed a deal for like forty two hundred, or I can't remember if that one's inside of the pipe or not right now. Oh, well, the whole point of this is to say like you don't need a lot of clients. It's just really about your ambition. For most people. Just getting to this eight thousand, nine thousand dollar goal is, you know, sufficient for them to be able to have a good lifestyle, for them to be able to, you know, just live a good life. For example, her first client was about thirty two hundred dollars a month. Um, she had like a thousand one. She had like an eight fifty. She had like a nine fifty. Right. That was kind of like the opening balance for her in her first four clients. So for some people, like you don't need this fifteen twenty or do hundreds of call. Like we're not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying like. Some people like doing sales. Some people like talking to people. Some people like doing that. For some people, your fifteen to twenty, uh, your your twelve thousand, twenty thousand dollars per month does not really look like a hundred calls. It might look more of like probably about fifty is, is on average how many sales calls you need to do, right? Closing anywhere between about fifty to eighty percent, right? You're probably gonna stop after about twenty clients. But you have the option to go and actually follow up with the remainder. <clears throat> so hopefully that makes sense and that's how you guys know exactly how to go and obtain more clients that the average business owner just does not understand. And that's why so many people struggle. That's why I struggled for so long, right? Now within there, that's that's the math, right? That is the quality that's the quantitative, right? That is the quantitative. Right, but the qualitative. So we just did the, the quantitative, right? That's the numbers, the numbers. Right, but this is about the qualitative. This is the, the soft skills. Right, that's the, the platform. The message scripts. The, the sales scripts. That's managing your time. Right? These are the things that will make or break you within those numbers, right? And that's the thing that will cause you to be able to do less work, but get more output, right? So how much you're pricing. Some people, <laughs> most, do 150 to 500 per month. We do 500 to a, well, it's, it's actually getting a little bit higher. It used to be 500 to 5,000. Now we do about 500 to 8,000 uh, on average. We do. Right, our students do between about five hundred to eight thousand per month. We're actually trying to get rid of this number. We're trying to make the range more of like two thousand to about uh, to about ten thousand per month. But you know, that's kind of where we're shooting for. As we're getting bigger and bigger clients inside of the program, like we have one student that has two clients that pay thirty six thousand a month. Right, that's not doing traditional bookkeeping. That's doing more of like virtual CFO for larger companies that do more intricate types of projects that need his expertise for a lot longer. Um, but you know, average student is, is right around that two thousand to about three thousand per month kind of average whenever they work with me. So. If you want those, if you want all the qualitative stuff, if you want all the stuff we just talked about, right? This is the stuff that, you know, free content just can't give you enough time, right? It takes time to learn on your own. Or partner with Bryce. That That's me. My name is Bryce, just in case you didn't know, <laughs> right? Or you can just partner with, with me. And if you partner with me, you don't have to make all the mistakes that I made with growing my firm. Because I started my firm in 2014. Um, it took me about 16 months to get it to about $15,000 a month in sales. Um, I don't want it to take you that long. Because it shouldn't have taken me that long knowing what I know now. It's just back then I didn't know what I didn't know. 
And if I had, if someone had just shown me like drawings like this stuff, like, dude, that's that would have been so much more helpful. But I actually had to pay about thirty five thousand dollars in my first year because I was just bouncing from like course, bouncing to course, bouncing to course, absorbing more information, learning more stuff, getting into masterminds and different things. So if you want to skip all that stuff, you want to skip all the trial and error, spending way too much money than what you have to. I'm not gonna charge you thirty five thousand dollars. Uh, maybe in the future I will, but as of right now, I'm not charging 35000 for my mentorship. If you want some help growing your business, you want to be able to go and get to that next level, you want to be able to skip a lot of the mistakes that everyone else makes, I just invite you to go ahead and click on the link inside of the description below to book a call with me to see if I can help you. Now keep in mind, I can't help everybody. It's not a good fit for everybody. This is a very, very specific program for a very specific individual, and we customize it because I need to make sure I can actually get you success. If I can't get you success, there's no point in us working together. That's why we do these calls. So if you want some help, you want to see if this thing can help you out, go ahead and click on the link inside the description below. We're going to look at, hey, where are you right now? Where do you want to go? Then thirdly, if I think I can help you out and I think it's going to be a great fit and you do qualify, I'm going to just make an invitation. You can decide right then and there if it's the right thing for you. We can move forward and we can um, work together long term and hit those goals. If that's you, I will see you on the call. If you're not quite ready, I will see you inside of the next video. Talk to you soon.